All right, so now that we talked about the, hip, the hippies, I also want to talk about the next group, which is going to be the civil rights leaders. Now, civil rights leaders, obviously, who first comes to mind is Martin Luther King Jr. Now, obviously, he was involved with this. As, as he transitions from trying to get equal rights for African Americans, he takes a look at the Vietnam War, and, he's, and he, he realizes, wow, this is a very unfair war. And in particular, there was a higher percentage of minority soldiers in combat than the percentage that was found in American society. Now, right now, we have probably 11 or 12 percent uh, of Americans are African American, and I don't know what the percentages are now of what are fighting in Afghanistan, but there's a pretty good chance that those numbers that are actually fighting are much higher than what you find in society. One of the other um, arguments were, was that money that was being spent on the war, which war is tremendously expensive, that money could be invested in the country itself and could be spent on domestic programs helping Americans out rather than waging war in a foreign country. One of the questions that came up particularly for black soldiers was that why should black soldiers be asked to fight and to die for democracy and freedom for these big words, these ideals, when many of them were being denied these same things back home in America. Now particularly in the south but also in the northern, country, uh, northern states as well too, they were being denied the, the right to vote and they did not have the same types of freedoms that many white people had. Now, Muhammad Ali was not really known as a civil rights leader, but he became very famous during this time because he was drafted to fight in the war and he refused on religious grounds. He says, I, I'm not going to go fight. I don't have a problem with the Vietnamese. They've never, they've never called me names. Um, why should I go shoot somebody in a foreign country when me for my religious beliefs, people in America won't even stand up for me. And I'm going to show you a, a clip on Muhammad Ali when he's asked about um, why he won't go fight in the Vietnam War.